Hello friends and uh, welcome to this assembly programming first example is regarding squaring a numerical value and just uh, giving it a, giving it as the return status so a standard format of a program now let's take the value as a numerical value 4 it's a very simple program very simple and basic program so i'm starting with so after pushing the you can do any you can follow any convention actually it's not necessary or mandatory to push the abp first of all abp at the in, at the initial stage of the program only on to stack you can follow follow it up after afterwards also so i'm pushing the abp only on to the stack moving my stack pointer to my base pointer okay so now what i'm doing is i'm copying the value 4 to our uh, ex register so uh, the value 4 is at value 4 is at over here so let me explain it here we have our value 4 here we got our ebp and this is our present stack pointer okay <coughs> so this is the stack and you can say this is the value stored in our ebp okay so what will be the location of 4 actually at an offset of 4 bytes from ebp which is currently holding our esp okay so we grab the value 4 from an offset of 4 bytes from our ebp and we shift it to ex then again we shift the same value to our ebx register okay now you simply multiply these two values okay and these two values will be multiplied and the multiplication of these both will be stored in abx register okay now you write down your exit routine so till now it's a very simple program so we can hope it to run without any hiccups okay now you now we check our exit status okay the square of 4 is given as out as 16 correct okay now let's move on to our next program so next program is going to a bit tricky here we are going to multiply three values three numerical values okay so the next program let's uh, so we'll multiply three numbers over here so we are on to our next program <laughs> so basically i'm trying to going to try to multiply three numbers so let's write a comment over here so first of all let's put some no operations over here so that we could be able to follow the debugging session correct now pushing our ebp 
moving our stack pointer to base pointer okay so we start pushing our values push value 2 onto stack push value 3 then push 4 okay so now we are not going to just perform these uh, operations in the plain program only we'll call we'll create a function called multiply short form of it we'll call this function <coughs> then soon after it we are going to just exit from the program fine before uh, just keep in mind when you return from the from any of the functions it's going to go to this line of course the next the next instruction which is uh, stored in, in your uh, program counter so before that before following this instruction we need to clear up your stack so we'll uh, do some routine work over here so we will create a uh, landmark over here called end and uh, we will just we'll just uh, add some value to our esp and we will later on uh, decide how much value they should be correct we should pop our ebp also so that ebp is popped up and we just uh, get the return address from the stack after popping we should follow a return statement because after popping our ebp on listening to call return it is going to go to next instruction on the program counter correct so let me just follow all these things on to stack only sorry i'll just elaborate so first of all what we had we had our ebp on to stack then 2 3 and 4 so this is our ebp and this is 2 3 then 4 okay now after calling a function there will be returns address of the next instruction correct because we are calling a function so the return address will immediately get saved onto it uh, okay so now we have gone up to a return now let's define our function multiply correct now as soon as going into a function we should save our ebp the previous ebp we were holding okay then next will be moving our stack on to ebp so after coming out of return here as soon as we enter our uh, multiply function we push our ebp onto stack so ebp will be saved over here correct then for multiplying all these three values we will be using a loop and because after calling a function there is no other way as easiest as creating a loop so that loop should be followed for three times so we create a counter over here 
and we move value 3 onto our counter register ECX and every time we follow the loop the ECX should be decremented by 1 correct now where the multiplication should be saved we will save the multiplication in EBX okay so till here we are done with defining function parameters okay <coughs> after function defining function parameters now we will create our loop inside loop the first thing we are going to do is we will just compare whether our counter register has not been holding the value 0 so we will just compare the value of ECX with 0 correct so let's it is done over here what if the value of counter register has gone to 0 then we should immediately jump to end for clearing the stack because after multiplying number 4 with the result of 2 and 3 the counter is going to be 0 then the value of the final result will be stored onto ebx register then we should clear up the stack for getting the return address so we will just jump to jump if equal if these both values are equal jump if equal to end correct now the function the functioning of function starts over here <coughs> now just pay attention what uh, strategy I'm going to hold is I will <coughs> so mm, let me elaborate what I'm going to do I will grab a value at 16 offset from our EBP and I will send it to EX register ok so what I am basically going to do well what is our uh, EBP right now move L ESQ to EBP after pushing EBP on the stack this turns out to be our EBP sorry this is our ESP correct so I am going to grab the value at a 16, 16 bytes offset so 4 bytes 4 bytes 4 bytes 4 bytes so 4 8 12 and 16 the value at, at an offset of 16 is value 2 correct so I am going to grab it by giving a instruction move a numerical value or any value which is at an offset of 16 bytes from our base pointer and move it to EX register ok now the next thing ok I will just uh, explain it afterwards next what I am just going to do is I will subtract I will keep subtracting a value of 4 bytes from our present stack pointer what it is going to do, I will explain, explain to you just uh, a few minutes later. Now we should multiply EX with EBX because EBX is the uh, register which is going to hold our returns. So EX will be 1 will be sorry, 1 will be multiplied with EX. EX is holding right now 2. So I will multiply with EBX and the result will be stored in EBX every time after multiplying we should move the value just for the redundancy purposes we should move the value which is there in EBX to somewhat downward position on the